invite you to enjoy life. Life with Luigi, a new comedy show created by Cy Howard and starring that celebrated actor, Mr. J. Carol Nash, with Alan Reed as Pasquale. When Luigi Vasco left Italy to start his new life in America, he promised his mother that he would write and tell her about his adventures. So now let's read Luigi's letter as he writes to Mama Vasco in Italy. Dear Mamma Mia, tomorrow is going to be one of the biggest days of my life. I'm going to march into my first bigger parade since I'm in America. I'm going to remember when I'm a first to come here. You know how I'm a like a parade, Mamma Mia. Well, I'm a seal little one, about the five or six of people. So I'm going to get the behind the man with the big bass drummer that they go boom, a boom, and I'm a march. Oh, it was a wonderful. Everybody is a calling me brother. People is a throw money at me. And when it's all over, I'm going to find out I'm a member of the Salvation Army. <laughs> Few months later, I'm going to see another parade. About the ten men. They're not the going to fire. They're just a marching up and a back in the front of a store. So I'm a marcher too. <laughs> Here they also call me brother, but nobody is a throw me pennies. And I'm going to find out I'm a, what they call a picket. <laughs> A few weeks later, I'm seeing a street another parade. This is a much longer. So again, I'm a getting a back in a march. Nobody is a calling me brother. Nobody is a throwing me pennies. Nobody is even a talk to me. Then all the people, they take out their handkerchief. So I'm a take out my handkerchief. Then they start to cry. So I'm a cry too. Soon I'm a cry louder than anybody else. <laughs> Everybody is a turn to me and a say, must have been poor Charlie's a brother. <laughs> but anyway, tomorrow is going to be a real big parade for 4th of July, and I'm going to make a no mistake when I'm a marcher there. Because of my whole night of school class, they're going to march you with me. But it's time for me to go to school now, Mamma Mia. And my teacher, Miss Spalding, is going to tell us about the parade. Oh, what a big day is it going to be! America, I love you. You like a papa to me. From ocean to ocean. Quiet, class. Quiet. All right. Let's come to attention. I'll call the roll. Mr. Basco? Here. Mr. Harwick? Here. Mr. Olson? Here. Mr. Schultz? Here. Present in attendance and at your service. Mr. <laughs> Schultz? Oh, I'm so sorry. For a minute, I thought I was a gas station attendant. <laughs> Thank you, fellow <laughs> Mr. Schultz, can I please have some quiet? Sorry, all we got is mobile gas. <laughs> Mr. Schultz, what am I going to do with you? Oh, have I got off the chest? <laughs> Mr. Schultz, please. It's no use begging me, Spalding. I'm already married. <laughs> I didn't mean I... I... <laughs> Uh, well, well l let's get on with our history lesson. Uh huh. So you think I'm cute, huh? Come on, admit it, Miss Spalding, huh? Who? Hum? Huh? I do not, and. Uh -huh, uh, I got you flustered. <laughs> you have not. We will now discuss our history lesson. Now, everyone knows that Washington crossed the Schultz in a boat. <laughs> I mean, Washington crossed the Potomac in a Schultz. You are scraping my barnacle. <laughs> We will now get on with our history lesson. Class, if any one of you knows the answer, raise your hand. 
Now, who can tell me five causes of the Revolutionary War? Oh, eh, no, Miss Balding, don't ask any further. Uh, I have got the whole answer. Oh, oh. what a show-off. <laughs> Will somebody please call up Washington and have him throw Olson across the baton? <laughs> And I know you know all the answers, but I want to see if anyone else knows. Oh, come now, class. Five causes of the Revolutionary War. Anybody? Well, how about four causes? All right. Three. Two. Miss Spalding, the war is over. What do you want to do? Start up again? <laughs> Please. Mr. Basco, do you know the answer? No. Mr. Harwitz? I'm sorry, I don't carry a grudge. Miss <laughs> Pauling, nobody knows. That's my turn to give the answer. There he goes. One good apple spoils the whole rotten barrel. <laughs> Ignore him, Mr. Olson. Go on. Yo. <clears throat> Five courses of the Revolutionary War. One, heavy taxes on the colonies. Two, not enough representation in government. Three, foreign soldiers on American soil. Four, unfair legislation. And five, British capture of American ships. Himmel, no wonder I hate English mustard. <laughs> that was very good, Mr. Olson. Mr. Basco, why is it you couldn't answer any of the questions? Well, I'm responding to tell the truth. I was thinking of the bigger parade tomorrow and how happy I'm going to be to march. Yes, I'm glad you reminded me. Class, I want you to remember this carefully. Now, we're all meeting tomorrow at 12 o'clock on the corner of Michigan and 16th, right by the armory where we'll join the parade. No. Oh, I can hardly wait until it tomorrow. Is it going to be a wonderful parade? Uh, yeah, and I know a place on the way. A fella sells the most delicious hot dogs in the world. And we're going to stop and buy from him, huh? <laughs> what for we have to buy? hot dogs. My wife Esther, she'll bake a wonderful strudel. It'll be enough for all of us. I, I think hot dogs. Oh, that, 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 that's a good idea, you Horowitz. I will bring some smorgasbord. That's what. Uh, uh, what's the matter with hot dogs? <laughs> hey, hey, and don't forget to me. I'll go to Pasquale's Spaghetti Palace and order some pizza. Oh, that's right, it right. Be kill me, kill me. I like hot dogs. <laughs> Flash, that sounds wonderful. Yo. Mr. Schultz, why do you insist on hot dogs? Because I was the fellow who was going to be selling them! <laughs> Luigi, my friend! <laughs> hello, Luigi, hello, hello. Pasquale, I want you to do me a favor. You got to make me a lot of pizziola. I'm going to feed a big crowd. Luigi, my son. Oh, I could have kissed you. Pasquale, what the for? All I'm going to say is I want you to make me a pizzola for a big crowd. That's right. You take her to my daughter Rosa on a picnic. Oh, oh no, Pasquale. Not to me. It's for a parade. I'm going to tomorrow with my night school class. Ah. How much money you want for five big orders of a pizza? Money, money, money. You think, Luigi, everything in life is money? Is there some things in life that money no can buy? Like a what, Pasquale? Like love, marriage, good wife. <laughs> Pasquale, I'm not going to marry your daughter, Rosa. Please, Luigi. You marry her now. I promise I'm never going to ask you again. <laughs> <laughs> no, Pasquale, she's too fat for me. <laughs> Luigi, big good business, a man. When you marry a woman, you must look for value. Value? Sure. When you buy toothpaste, what do you buy? The smaller size or the medium size? Hey, wait, there's no use, Pasquale. I'm not going to buy the giant economy size. <laughs> Luigi, you talking stupid. Remember, good things, they always come in the bigger packages. You mean a little packages? Shut up. Today I'm a pushing a bigger package. <laughs> Luigi, you ain't using your head. Don't you know a bachelor life is a very good, but it ain't for single fellas. You marry my Rosa, go on a nice honeymoon, all expenses are paid. You bring her back to your new house... Carry her across the threshold. Carry her across the threshold. With the what? 
What do you want? <laughs> With the what? Your arms, that's the what. Pasquale, you know I could have never carried Ross across the threshold. Then I buy you a bulldozer, you push her across. <laughs> Pasquale, please. Rose is a nice girl, but not for me. Now, just to tell me, are you going to make me food for this parade tomorrow? No, 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 and no. I'm going to have nothing to do with... Uh... Sit down, my little pumpkin head. <laughs> oh, thank you, Pasquale. Luigi, this parade means a lot to you, doesn't it? Oh, yes, Pasquale. I'm going to be so proud to walk in on my first big parade tomorrow. I'm going to feel like a real American. Luigi, I got a way as a guaranteed to make you the biggest and the best American in that parade tomorrow. That's so wonderful. How, Pasquale? When the parade is passing the review in the stand at the ninth of the Michigan, you're going to explode the biggest of firecrackers you ever saw. But a Pasquale is not the legal to explode, explode the firecrackers. You're crazy. What else are you going to explode? The sunshine of crackers? <laughs> but, Pasquale, I think I'm ahead that a shooting off firecrackers is against the law. Oh, Luigi, you're right. But that was before they invented the 4th of July. Oh. After the 4th of July, they made illegal the fireworks by passing the 4th Amendment. This amendment is also called the, the Taft the Hartley Act. <laughs> now, now, that's a mean that what anybody can shoot off a of firecrackers unless their name is a Taft or a Hartley. What's your name? Luigi Basco. Ooh, you lucky pups. <laughs> hey, Pasquale. How you know so much about the law? Well, I'm always like to keep misinformed. <laughs> Every chance I'm a get, I'm a read that Washington paper, the congressional racket. <laughs> now, Luigi, you leave everything to your good friend Pasquale. I'm going to buy you the biggest firecrackers in the town. Oh, Pasquale, you're so wonderful to me. <laughs> hey, you think when I'm explode the firecrackers, they're going to take my name and put them my picture in a paper so I can send it to Italy? Luigi, you don't have to send your picture. Picture to Italy. They're going to send you there. <laughs> what? Yeah, on a goodwill tour. Oh, Luigi, tomorrow's going to be a big day for you. Believe in me, when you explode those firecrackers of people, they're going to be so touched, they're going to be carried away with emotion. <laughs> oh, Pasquale, I'm going to you to thank you for that. That's all right, Luigi. And if my thinking is right, there. Uh, you're going to be carried away, too. <laughs> now you go. Go, 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 go. I take care of everything. All right, Pasquale. And thank you for everything. Goodbye. Goodbye. Goodbye, my little banana nose. <laughs> and remember, don't tell nobody how you're going to shoot off the fireworks, because then they do it, too, and it's not going to be no surprise. All right, Pasquale. I'm going to tell anybody. <laughs> so here's the Fourth of July parade is more important than my roads, eh? I'm going to fix him good. <laughs> I'm not a mean man, but when somebody is a purposely go out of his way not to marry my daughter, I'm the biggest rat in Chicago. <laughs> Hello? Hello, police department? This is the Pasquale, the rat. I mean... Uh... <laughs> uh, hello, hello. That's a fellow who's a good friend of yours. Uh, I'm going to tip for you. My name? Sorry, but I'm going to keep my identity under my head. Anyway, if you stand on a Michigan on the 9th of tomorrow at 12 o'clock when the parade is passing by, you're going to see a fella who's suddenly go crazy and shoot off a firecrackers, no telling what else he's going to do. Eh? What kind of fella he is? But I'm not the saying, but all I can tell you, he's eat only pink salmon... He's a scene of the picture, read the river five times, and his favorite drink is a Moscow mule. And now for the second act of Luigi Basco's adventures in Chicago, we turn to page two of his letter to his mother in Italy. And so, Mamma Mia, in a few minutes, the Schultz is going to meet me here, and we're going to get it to my first foot of a July parade. Over there, Pasquale is going to hand me the firecrackers, and I'm going to shoot them off. Mamma mia, 
Maybe my pictures are going to be in the newsreel. Can you imagine? One day you're going to walk into the movies in Italy and there's going to be a double feature. Luigi Basco and a Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> oh, it's going to be a big day. Luigi, my fellow boobie. <laughs> Hello, Schultz. What's the matter, Luigi? You are talking so shaky. Well, Schultz, I'm, I'm a little nervous. You know, it's my first parade. Oh, well, maybe you should have it a little schnifter or two, hmm? You think a schnifter would make me look better? Would it? You should see my herrings, how beautiful they look when they are pickled. <laughs> you know, they lose all their nervousness. But only last week, I pickled two of them. Today, they were standing up in the barrel, daring me to come down and get them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, smile, Luigi. I'm only trying to shear you up. <laughs> well, uh, thank you, Schultz. Uh, I'm a feel better already. Hey, Schultz. Look, all of this food that Pasquale has given me free for the parade. Stop. Stop. When Pasquale gives anything away, it's got strings attached. Rosa's apron strings. <laughs> oh, no, Schultz. No strings attached. Pasquale is a very good hearted man. And I believe me, he's a plenty smarter, too. What? You are talking about the biggest stupid cops that ever lived. Do you know that last year he took out a one-year subscription to Esquire Shoe Polish? He thought inside he'd find pictures of beautiful girls. <laughs> I'm not sure. So Pasquale is going to do lots of favors for me today. Also, while I'm walking with a parade, he's a promise to take my picture with that new Polaroid the camera. What? Polaroid. Huh? You know, it's one of those cameras where you press the button, and a picture comes out in a one a minute. Is it not the fast? What so fast? Last week I went to a picture, it was so terrible, I come out in ten seconds. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what other favors is Pasquale going to do it to you today? Well, uh, oh, well, it should say, uh, it's a secret, but, but you're going to find out later. All right, well, come on, we go to the parade now. All right, it should say, come. <laughs> Mamma mia, I'm a... I'm feeling nervous again. Oh, stop with that nervous business. Be like me, Luigi. Calm. Smile, Luigi. <laughs> <laughs> My rheumatism is killing me. Now, class, let's all stay together. We're going to join the parade in a moment, and we don't want anyone getting lost. Oh, this is such fun. Look, I brought the Wiener schnitzels. <laughs> and I brought the smorgasbord. Wait till you taste my strudel. And I'm going to get the pizza. Oh, Himmel, it sounds like the United Nations with heartburn. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't worry. I brought something American, the bicarbonate of soda. <laughs> Schultzen, <laughs> Mrs. Spalding is a funnier than a you. Yeah, Miss Spalding, maybe you and me, we go on television together. We're going to have a program called Breakfast in Night School. <laughs> Hey, look. Yeah. Look, all of the people are parading. Look, here comes all the factory contingents. Workers of the Alexander Smith Carpet Company. From the carpet company? Oh, how they must hate walking on cement. <laughs> hey, here's another one. Yeah. Look. Workers of the Swanson Chicken Company. Yeah, yeah, and look at that drum major. Instead of carrying a baton, he's waving a chicken. <laughs> Classes fall in. All right, class. The parade captain is motioning us. Mr. Basco? Mr. Basco? Yes, sir. You carry the flag. Me? Carry the flag? Oh, mamma mia. Yes, 
Hello, it's a pleasure. Hold this flag for me. I'm a coming right the back. Mr. Basco, where are you going? Well, it's a, it's a surprise. I'm a coming right the back. Well, don't be too long, Luigi. All right. Uh... Pasquale, where's the stuff you brought? Hey, Luigi, here's the firecrackers, here's the matches, and you light them. All right, Pasquale. Hey, where are you going? I'm going to call a cop and make sure he don't miss you. Oh. <laughs> well, thank you, Pasquale. Now I'm a light the match. <laughs> Look there, everybody, look there. Well, now I'm going to light the next one. <laughs> oh, shit. Hey, it's like the Revolutionary War again. <laughs> Listen to this. <laughs> hey, hey, why are you all running away? Hey, who's lighting all these firecrackers? It's a me, officer. I'm the one. Oh, yeah? Let me have that. Okay. Here. Mamma mia, what's uh, happened to the policeman? <laughs> Luigi, I tell you, you got nothing to worry about. I'm going to give you the best lawyer there is, and I'm going to have you out of jail in the 15 or 20 years. <laughs> But Pasquale, you told me it was not against the law to shoot off the firecrackers. All right, so I made a mistake. But believe me, the whole thing was purely intentional. <laughs> Besides, who told you to hand the cop of the firecracker in his hand? You know, when he's climbing down from that lamppost, he was ready to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> Mamma mia, it's the worst day of my life. I would do anything to get out of this. Anything, Luigi? <laughs> Almost uh, anything. Listen, Luigi, visiting time is almost up. In two minutes, you're going to be in front of the judge. If you marry my Rosa, I'm going to give you the best lawyer in town. We put up your bail. He's a habeas of your corpus. <laughs> we drag your case through court for five or six years. And by that time, you get your citizen papers and the cases are dismissed. What do you say, my son? All right, the papa. Good. <laughs> I'm a call it a bashful of bride. Rosa! 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 You call me Papa! <laughs> Come here, my little shrink in the violet. Come here. Rosa, say hello to Luigi. <laughs> Hello, Rosa. <laughs> Rosa, guess what? Luigi's about to offer you his hand. What do you say to that? But, Papa, what am I going to do with three hands? <laughs> you shut up your face! <laughs> All right, time's up. Vasco, follow me. Don't worry, Luigi. I'm going to take care of everything. Hear ye, hear ye, court now in session, Judge Mitchell presiding. Your Honor, all these men here are charged with violation of the fireworks ordinance. Please, Your Honor, I'm a try to be good American. I'm a no noise against the law. Pay no attention to that appellate judge. He's getting a good lawyer to defend him. Quiet. I'll have no comments in the court. Oh, stop, stop. I heard all about it. I came as quick as I could. It's not Luigi's fault. It's not Pashkavali. He got Luigi all for shiver. Listen, <laughs> I hear another outburst, I'll clear this court. Every year at this time, I get a group of men who continue violating a very important safety ordinance. Almost every city in the United States has a Fourth of July spectacle where you may witness a fireworks display in a safe and sane way. Why you persist in endangering your life and the lives of your children and your property, I, I can't understand. But, a Judge, I'm always tried to be a good American. All right. I'll give you a chance to prove it. Let's see you sing the Star Spangled Banner all the way through. Oh, 
say, can you see, my red dawns early light, at so proudly we held, at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars, through the perilous fight, or the ramparts we watched, was so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glare, bombs was bursting in air, gave a proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? For the land of the free and the home of the brave. What's your name? Uh, L- Luigi Basco. Now, ah, don't be frightened. The case against you is dismissed. Uh. You're the only person I've ever heard sing the Star Spangled Banner through from beginning to end. Hey, Judge, you can't let him go. I'm going to hire a lawyer. <laughs> Who are you? He's Bashkamali, the fellow that gave Luigi the fireworks. That's not true. I've got nothing against you for that. In fact, uh, I'd like to get some fireworks myself. You would? Certainly. But I don't know where to get them. You'd be a friend of mine if you told me. In that case, Judge, I'm happy to be of service for you. 321 and North the Halstead Street. That's all I want to know. I thought you were the guilty party two days in jail. Hey, wait, Judge. Wait, 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 wait. Where are you going, my son? I'm going to get me a lawyer. What? Heavy as the corpus to you, Papa. <laughs> And so, Mamma Mia, after I'm a get out of court, I'm a join the parade, and I'm a have the most wonderful time of my life. At the end of the parade was a big sign, which shows an enlargement of Declaration of Independence, which was signed by great Americans. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal. Mamma mia, isn't it a funny thing? These great men realized this almost 200 years ago. And some people still don't understand it. Well, a good night, Mamma mia. Like the little Fisker boy is to say, it's time to retire. Your loving son, Luigi Basco, little immigrant. Life of Luigi is a Cy Howard production that is written by Mac Benoff and Lou Durbin and directed by Mac Benoff. Jay Carroll Nash has starred as Luigi Basco with Alan Reed as Pasquale, Hans Conrad as Schultz, Mary Ship as Miss Spaulding, and Jody Gilbert as Rosa. Music is under the direction of Lynn Murray. There will be some new faces in that famous Monday night CBS spot while Lux Radio Theater takes its annual summer vacation, and you'll know just how many laughs are awaiting you when we identify the owners as Joan Davis, the off-ground queen of comedy, and Abe Burroughs with their new shows. CBS cordially invites you to hear the premiere of these two bright and funny programs tomorrow night, July 4th, when they'll be heard on most of these same CBS network stations. Bob Stevenson speaking. Now stay tuned for Earn Your Vacation, which follows immediately over most of these same stations. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. 